The need for a strong and vibrant bioeconomy has never been more pressing as communities in the UK and around the world wrestle with the twin challenges of climate change and post-pandemic economic recovery. Bio Yorkshire has the potential to address these challenges by creating 4,000 jobs in Yorkshire and the UK and contributing some £1.4 billion in GVA to the UK economy. It also aims to reduce the UK's CO2 emissions by 2.8 million tonnes and reduce waste to landfill by 1.2 million tonnes every year, making a major contribution to this country's carbon and waste reduction targets. Bio Yorkshire is going to achieve all this by using the great innovation coming out of places like the University of York and then working in partnership with the agricultural sector, for example, that's responsible for production of a lot of that bio-based feedstock, working with industrial biotechnology and a range of different companies around the region that are responsible to, for developing new products to replace petrochemical-based products, and then also involving skills and training experts who are going to you know, inspire the next generation to take all of this on board and adopt an entrepreneurial spirit to develop new jobs and new companies for a region that will be using this bioeconomy and the bio-based feedstocks coming out of Bio Yorkshire. Ascombe Bryan College has unique resources which will enable us to deliver the skills and training for the next generation of farmers and land users. The college has a key and leading role to play in delivering high production, sustainable, high welfare food for the UK. It's enormously important that the college plays its role in this in producing young, skilled and knowledgeable individuals to enable the UK to flourish in the 21st century. The project starts with world-class research and progresses to application and industrial testbed facilities to ensure that research has an impact in the real world. I think that the real advantage and uniqueness that Ferris Science brings into the Bio Yorkshire project is a cohort of over 500 applied research scientists who deliver impact in the field, in the retail outlet or in the food chain in one way or another. Bio Yorkshire not only will draw in inward investment, which is absolutely crucial for a city like York, but it will also return GVA back into the local economy and of course the Treasury. And for this city, for North Yorkshire, for Yorkshire as a whole, creating 4,000 green collar jobs, upskilling 25,000 people with the skills for the future green economy. Now, that surely is what the economy should be about, what the government's focus should be about, but also it shows the contribution that academia makes to that wider scope of the economy. So it ticks every box, levelling up, as the, the government would call it, but also addressing the big climate challenges of our day. So the main impact of Bio Yorkshire will be in realising the potential of bio-based feedstocks so that society can use them to replace fossil fuels. And if we get that right and we develop new products, new sustainable products, it'll also develop the economy for a region and for the country and help jobs and growth. We all care about net zero. We want more sustainable ways of fueling ourselves, feeding ourselves, and healing ourselves. Bio Yorkshire brings all of those elements together. Now the time for talking is done, we need to move into the time of action. And Bio Yorkshire is that action, seeing green collar jobs created, a green new deal for the city and Yorkshire as a whole, but also to ensure that we make that green transition into our future to reshape the bioeconomy and to see York and North Yorkshire spearheading not just the biosciences across our region, across our country, but across the world.